welcome back welcome back welcome back to my channel it's nelly from forever nelly right now you guys come with me to run some errands um and let's see what we get into the, today so i'm going to be heading to t-mobile to get my son's phone switch over to my plan that's a long story but we won't talk about it later and let's see what's what's around to do a solo lunch date because your girl is in need of a date and who better to date but yourself finding nelly is all about self-love and give me yourself the love you deserve so let's get it let's motherfucking go hurry it. <laughs> Can we give me another example? I Oprah. Mean, Oprah. Oprah. All right, Oprah says she's going, yeah, I'm chill with you. you chill with That's Oprah? it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm going to take a picture of it. It's $15.99. All right, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Yeah, Next time you see me, I might, <laughs> I might have it figured out then. <laughs> Let me see your ID real quick first. My ID. That's me. We're still talking about um, um, Carisha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just I, feel like she's being compensated for what she's agreed to. How so much money it costs for my peeling? I guess one hundred twenty thousand a month. How long she been with him? A year now. Come on, that, that's adding up. Yeah. She ain't dropped one song, but got a Birkin and on a yacht every day. She's like, well, and a TV show Come on, on his uh, Oh, a Millie, a Millie, a Millie. He, he gave a her a platform where yeah. she making more money now. Yeah. Doing, doing all, she gotta do, all she got to do is promote his little That's it. Man. That's it. So, I mean, is it? Do you think it's a What's fair trade? Please. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's how I'm looking at it. Like, yo, she kind of in the right spot if she okay with it. The other girls ain't getting. City get, girls is down. The, the baby All mother ain't getting no TV down. show. Hold up, wait a minute. What you mean, city girls down? The baby city mother ain't getting no TV show. Points. She ain't getting and no spot on revolt. <laughs> she barely got a baby show. Said. I'm crying. Uh -uh. <laughs> how, nope. you, how you getting dudes for their money and you running up a check and this, that, and the third, and he had a baby on you and he peeing on you? He ain't getting a baby city mother, girls no baby down. shower. He ain't giving no baby shower. He ain't giving no business. He just nope. gave her a baby. Nope, nobody even knew. He ain't giving no clout. He ain't giving nothing. He's, he though. spend he spends the years. holidays with her though. She's important. Which one? Carisha. Oh, that's yeah. his main pick. That's, that's his bottom bitch. That's what they say. That's his main pick. Think, think Why about would I be long, mad? Think about how long Cassie was around, right? Yeah. And I'm sure he's had multiple kids in the time frame he was with Cassie. Cassie leave Diddy and immediately oh, get pregnant. Was in so there. nice in there. Like, for real. <clears throat> I really don't know where I'm going to go for a solo date. For real, I've been thinking about chilies because I like their Southwest egg rolls, so. I'm trying to go somewhere where I've never been before, but I do not know nothing about over here, for real. <sighs> they were so nice. We was chilling, talking. That's what you call positive people. You feel me? Need that in your life. 
I need it. Let me let it lay. Okay, all these people on U turn. Let me go. Um, you know what? I have never been to PF Chang's, but I was in Southwest Egg Road, so. of my son or what happened with my son oh um i was you know i had dyed my hair i was dying my hair it's a couple of videos on here and i i don't know if i did my measurements wrong or what or you know was it like too strong for my hair because my hair is thick but it's like thin at the same time like it's like combined like that and my hair fell out. I ain't too proud to say nothing about me. My hair fell out. Um, with the stress and the, you know the color and all that, and I probably wasn't like doing the proper care. I was doing care, but I probably wasn't doing the proper care. And it's so choppy. Like if y'all want to see it in my uh, um next video when I do my um birthday hair but y'all y'all gonna be like <gasps> but it was actually shorter than that I've been using the melee um, rosemary mint growth oil thing thing drops it's growing but you know it's not growing the way it is though you know it's fast that how I like it to be <clears throat> so <sighs> yeah child my head getting on my nerves. So, I'm just overwhelmed with it, for real. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Okay. Yes, overwhelmed. But when I get to the destination that I'm going to get, because I don't know where I'm going be honest i don't know what i want to do or what i want to eat but i'm hungry and yeah so yo i decided to go to not even one of the places that i already mentioned i'm gonna go to bandito's bar and kitchen it's a taco place I don't know. Something, I just wanted to try something different. I do like Mexican food. Um, El Salvadorian. Like, I like Hispanic food, basically. Um, I do. Or like Southwest. Then, you know, like, yeah. I like food. Who don't like food? Yep. And I'm a goat big goblet 
all down. Yes, I am. Because that's just me. But no, it's like, uh, I'm nervous. I'm scared because it's the first time I'm going, like, somewhere by myself. I usually, like, you know, go out with people, but you gotta treat yourself how you wanna be treated. So, I'm scared for one. It's for me. The site. That's my uh, yeah. Oh, and they still have uh, ice skating out here. Y'all can see a little bit. It is so windy, y'all. Look. Oh, look. How you getting? Oh, right there. All right. Look, y'all. Ice skating. Oh, this is like soft. But let's go. This entrance, I think. I don't know if you can see my trip, but I'll show y'all later. So I'm in here. Hi. Yes. It's just me. Okay. Please just wear with me because I don't know what's in your place. Oh. I got my water. Be dry. That was really fast. This is it. Pretty much needed. Oh, it's strange too. But um, what am I get? Um, I'm gonna get some nachos. Okay. The monster nachos, or you want like the nachos with the guac, queso, or salsa? Yeah. Which one do you want to do? Um, we also have a Tres Amigos where you can get the guac, the salsa, and the queso together. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm just doing the salsa. The salsa? Yeah. Okay, careful. Nachos. Butter. Trying to cover people behind me. So good. My food is here, and I've been wanting to try the burritos, <laughs> tacos for a minute, but I'm special on these. Nachos, this is good. I'm going to finish this, I don't know, because I'm not a drinker. And this is strong. Strong. This the food. Oh. 
So I got this check and it's like um, $28 and some change, which is not bad, which is uh, at all a $5 tip. So it's not bad at all. So yeah, that was good for a quick little lunch solo date. So my daughter, I can't even, my daughter texted me, it was like, um, the little boy that she like, call her the B word or whatever, right? So, you know, as a parent, I don't know what's going on. Maybe the other parent knows what's going on because I have her number. I don't know. It's little kid stuff. So, I text her and say, hey, I don't know what's going on. He called her a B. She expressed to me that she went to put her hands on him. And I told her, you know, no, this is this not what it is. You don't put your hands on nobody or whatever. Forget it. I don't tolerate disrespect or nobody putting their hands on each other. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's a girl hitting a boy or a boy hitting a girl. I don't tolerate none of that. I definitely don't tolerate disrespect. You're not going to disrespect her and she goes ignore, ignore it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, and she said he like humiliated her in front of all her little haters or whatever. And this is what I'm talking about as far as self-care. You cannot tell nobody nowadays though you cannot tell nobody any vulnerable part of you this little boy sat in my living room and we told him about you know the, the drama with the girls at school whatever like that he used those same girls to humiliate her in front of if I don't know if tip attack or if you salty was a person it'd be men men little boys really get on my nerves like why are you mad though why would you do that just don't talk to her don't have nothing to say like nothing so she come the mother hit me back with these screenshots so one of her little friends had DM'd him and was like, hey, you know, that's, you know, that's my brother because my daughter had posted um, her homegirl's brother because they all cool. The little boy followed me on Instagram. Like, they, they little kids. They in middle school, for God's sakes. <laughs> she posted him for his birthday. Had birthday shout out. Who said you can't do that? First of all, they too young to be in a serious relationship like that for the way as though, oh, you can't post other dudes. Like, who does that? You're in eighth grade. They're in eighth grade. Like, only insecure people would do that knowing that, you know what I'm saying? She look at him like a brother. Like, it's not even like that. They First of all, they're too young for that. So, he get mad because she posts a little boy or whatever for his for his birthday. So her homegirl, who was the little boy's sister, hit him like, hey, that, you know, that ain't nothing like that. That's just my brother. You know, we all cool, whatever, whatever. This is what he said. This is the little boy's response. Don't hit me about that bitch. Who? My daughter? So the little girl was like, oh, hold up. Who you talking to? That's like my homegirl. You don't got to be disrespectful. And he don't. Okay. The other screenshot was, you know, her saying my daughter texting him saying you know you hurt my feelings when you act like you know i ain't there whatever you didn't speak to me or whatever like that like what's going on a lot a lot in that day going to text i don't know and he like um but you post the niggas they in eighth grade it is not that freaking serious. I'm so sorry. It's really not. So she just don't understand. Well, if I'm cool with this person, that's my homegirl's brother and we all cool. I don't understand why I can't do that. I knew him before him. And for real, we can stop talking or not, not stop liking each other the day of the mall. And I'm supposed to like not show my friend's love like I been showing my friend's love. Look, check this out. They too young. 
or whatever. So this lady hit me back like, oh, you should teach your daughter six and stones. Um, you may break her bones with words whenever her. Let me tell you something. You can keep your opinion or whatever it is to your mother freaking self for one. For two, I ne I didn't even come off. I'm not beefing about no little kid stuff. Like that's not. I'm not doing it. I'm not beefing about no little kid stuff. They in eighth grade, lady. Eighth grade. Like I'm not beefing about that. They not. They're not supposed to be serious anyway. Yeah, it's kitty love. They like each other. Okay. What is the problem? Like, nothing is supposed to be this serious to where it's though names got to be called or people putting their hands on people. And you coming at me like, I don't even know what's going on. I just know I got a text message from my daughter talking about, you know, he calling her all this and that and the third. And she upset about it. That's my daughter. She's a girl at the end of the day. Like, check this out. I'm not beefing about no little kid stuff. Eighth grade ninth grade whatever whatever that's that's not what nelly doing i don't do shit like that um yeah this just blew me it really blew me because i'm like clearly you have an attitude about something i don't know what your attitude for because i didn't come at you i don't know how i can't how you read it how i came off at you but i ain't come off small at all i just said i don't know what's going on but she texted me about this or whatever like that and you know I don't know I don't know why I don't know you know what's going on between them why, or why he said this or what happened between them I don't know but I told her you know putting your hands on people is not necessary I don't tolerate it she's no she knows that the only thing that you know what I'm saying if, if like I tell her if somebody put their hands on you of course you gotta do what you gotta do but not because of you know somebody saying something or whatever i don't tolerate that i explained this to this lady but okay because when it comes to my, to my kids i don't play that shit like you could say whatever you want be smart whatever but i'm definitely not gonna play that shit and she lucky that she didn't tell her three big brothers because she got three big brothers and a whole slew of male figures in her life that will come see about that like we're not doing that i'm not doing that so they they really lucky for real at the end of the day so all this disrespect and all that 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 could be out the window i don't care where you from how you got here we're not doing that not beefing about no little eighth grade shit girl bye see these parents don't realize that's why i'm trying to get out the school system because as y'all know, I'm a bus driver. These parents is with it with their kids. But guess what? Some of these some of these people, some of these teachers, some of these bus drivers, some of these aides is with it too. Like, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. See what's going on. Assess the situation. Talk about it with the, uh, the next adult. And come up with a solution. Like, you ain't got to worry about my daughter. She won't bother him. And he should not bother her. Shouldn't say shit to each other. Nothing. Don't even look each other way. Because that's just it. If y'all can't get along and y'all don't like each other no more, that's just it. Don't say nothing to each other or about each other. That's just it. It ain't got to be all this rah, rah, ha, ha, hoop, 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 hoop shit. Hoop, hoop, hoop. It's 2023. This don't make no sense how these parents is. Like, they not really called you adults to be like oh you know what i think this is the problem or whatever like that i can assess the situation oh let me talk to her about this or oh, i already talked to her about that like i already talked to her about posting a little boy and nobody tell you what you need to do with your son i don't tolerate disrespect i don't give a fuck if she disrespected him and it was a, the opposite way oh i'm gonna check her thank you yeah i'm gonna check her that's it and that's all. Excuse my mouth, but this is crazy. I really don't understand what people what people be thinking. It's stupid. Real dumb. I don't know why I give a freak about none of that. Okay. 
I'm back home or whatever. That just really blew me. Like, why you got attitude? Why do you have an attitude, ma'am? Because somebody told your son that he was doing too much about a dang on birthday post. That they in eighth grade. If her little homegirl can understand that they in eighth grade and he doing too much about some of her, her posts and her, home, her homeboy in eighth grade. So he's able to call her bitch because he is secure about a birthday post for somebody that she knew that she cool with. That's her homegirl brother or everybody cool with. I, like I've been around them. Like I, I know them. Like they're cool. There's nothing like that. She don't like the little boy. Why is he mad? They in eighth grade. These kids out here take these relationships too dead going sir. Oh, you can't talk to her. Oh, you can't talk to him. Oh, you can't do this. You can't. No. It's adults out here struggling with that shit. In a relationship. Oh, I can't do this. I can't be myself. I can't do that. No, we're not doing it to no eighth grade fucking kids. And messing their mind up thinking they can't do this and that and the third or they, you know what I'm saying? We're not doing that. Putting them in a shell to where it's though when they do, when they don't mess with the person no more, they done lost out on that friend. Oh, cause you, you know what I'm saying? Like, who does that? We, they in eighth grade, eighth grade, middle school. I am so, you know what? Tell. Let me get off this call. I'm sorry for my mouth, but that made me so mad, though. I'm not mad. I'm just, like, irritated because people don't understand, like, people is, people ain't nothing, yo. You cannot tell them nothing and that's where i'm at in my life like i'm not telling no vulnerable piece of information about me nothing like to people that you think that care or love you yo i'm not doing it because as soon as they get mad that's when they want to use it and it's messed up because most of the experiences that I've had like that has been from men. That is the total dumbest thing ever. My homegirls ain't never did no, no mess like that. Family ain't even did no mess like that, to be honest. To me, I don't know about anybody else and in, in whoever, but when you tell somebody, oh, you know, you go to therapy, you got PTSD, da, 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 da. oh, okay, you know, I understand, da, da, da. and then they get mad. Call your therapist. We ain't even talking, we ain't even talking or arguing about the, uh, therapy. Like, what the fuck does calling my therapist got to do anything? But okay, then. My daughter's situation. Eighth grade. He stood in that living room and he literally heard me double and her say, Oh, you know, she had a problem with these girls. Da -da 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 -da. We don't, you know, she don't bang with them like that. As a matter of fact, he was play fighting with one of her, one of the girls she had a problem with. She ain't like that. So, she like, all right, cool. Since you feel as though you can, you know what I'm saying, be free to do whatever you want, why can't I? Why do y'all put women in a place where they can't be free, but y'all can be free to get numbers or to get like, or to do some dumb stuff like that? And then when, when the woman do it or when the girl do it, it's a big fucking problem i don't understand that from eighth grade to almost 40 what is the problem why can't nobody be as free as y'all y'all do what y'all please why can't nobody else do what they please like this is ridiculous like i'm tired i'm really tired of 
that whole uh what is it out what double standard i don't know but it's got to stop like people out here trying to be free of everything they trying to be an entrepreneur to be free of working for somebody why can't somebody free their mind in a relationship and be relaxed and being they self and knowing they're confident and and they know they self and they know they're not gonna do x y and z like you could be trusted to be who you are you're not these men is not teaching women you could be trusted to be who you are if you gonna keep their mind caged up like that but you could do what you want to do but you can't do what you want to do and if the moment that i do it then you're gonna be mad and all this stuff like stop 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 it gotta stop i'm so sorry i'm sick and tired of it it has to stop i'm i'm done I'm done with that. It has to stop, y'all. It really do. I'm just so mad about this. I'm so mad about that. I'm so passionate about that, yo. Because these, yo, it's... And then, how you expect to lead? How you expect to, you, you to lead a woman when you don't want her... You want her, her mind to be caged up. But you could go out here and do what you want. Say what you want. Look at whoever you want. Get a number or whatever you want. And then when, she, when you find out she do it, it's like, oh, I knew you was a hoe. Oh, I knew you was a bitch. Oh, I knew you was this. Like, make it make sense. Please. That don't mean somebody a hoe. That don't mean nobody's talking to nobody. That don't mean nothing. Ain't that what you said? So, if you if you say she a hoe, she she a bitch or whatever like that, and you believe that she talk, then we should believe that you talking to that person too. Like it don't make no fucking sense at all. This double standard thing gotta go. Like you trying to be free of everything, not just jobs and shit. Like no. Be a free spirited person. You don't have to be. You don't have to be caged. Have a caged mind because somebody else wants you to have a caged mind. They can do what they want you. Like I'm so tired. I'm so tired, y'all. I'm so tired of this. I am really tired of it. Mm. Please, Lord, grant me the. Y'all know the prayer. This is crazy. 2023 do not please i don't care don't tell nobody nothing unless you really 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 trust them and you really really know that they will not never do no crazy stuff like throw it in your face when you're when they're mad or when y'all have a disagreement or argument or y'all beefing or whatever you want to call it Please, y'all, do not, do not in 2023, starting 2023, don't tell nobody no vulnerable piece of information about your mental health, about um, anything that you had, a secret that you could try. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's a lot of stuff that I could find in people and people could find in me. And I could dang on well say it. Why would I say anything to hurt somebody's feelings like that? That they told me a confidence that I was supposed to understand, that I was supposed to be sensitive to when it comes to them. And flabbergasted about today. It started off like a really good day. I mean, it still is a really good day. Forget that, cause I ain't gonna let nobody kill my vibe. You can try, but this is crazy. Stop telling people stuff. Follow me on TikTok. You should know. Stop following. I mean. Mm. <laughs> I'm so frustrated. Stop, y'all. I done messed my head. My, mm, stop it. 
stop telling people stuff. Please. This, I, mm. Stop. Stop. For real. Eh, eh. Don't do it. They is not who you think they are. Because truth be told, you are not what they think you is. And they will tell you, you will never be this. You will never be that. You will never be that person. You will never be this person. Yep. Stop it. Please stop. Don't tell them nothing else. That's the word. That's my word. Motivation. Whatever you want to call it. Of the day. Don't do it. This is a self-care vlog. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm telling you. Don't do it. Please don't do it. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn that notification bell on. Let me, let me just calm down. Please follow me on all social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. And yeah, I'm out.